On Tuesday, August the 16th, 1892, John Evans, a 25-year-old farmer's son, left his family home, Bull Kybrith, between Newcastle Emlyn and Capel Ewan, to go to his work as a navvy on the Newcastle Emlyn railway line. It was two and a half years before the line was to be opened and construction was still in progress. John's family was a large one and there were younger brothers and sisters to help his parents. He was used to hard work as a farmer's son and the cash for working on the line would have been tempting. He was working on a section of the track at Trebedu near Hentlan. This section included the building of an embankment. This was achieved by taking wagon loads of spoil from a nearby cutting. At the end of the drop, a board was fixed across the rails and the horse went at speed almost to the edge, was then unhitched and the momentum carried the wagon to the end and caused it to tip up and empty its contents. It was a risky job, especially in muddy and wet conditions and unfortunately John, right at the edge of the tip, slipped and fell down behind the loose wagon as it emptied its load over the edge. He didn't have time to get out of the way before it crashed back on top of him, killing him instantly. His parents, James and Mary, chose to bury their son at Zion Independent Chapel near Aberkeith, some way distant from their home, but perhaps the resting place of other family members. His headstone has a dove descending, a symbol of the Holy Spirit, and makes no mention of the accident. Buried with him is his younger sister Hannah, who died five years after him, aged 21. Navvies were considered expendable by railway contractors, and it was expected that some of them would die during their hard and dangerous work. The verdict of the inquest was accidental death. To his parents, he was their beloved eldest son. Deaths like this occurred on every stretch of railway line built in Victorian Britain. We often think of the great engineers who designed them, but rarely of the thousands of navvies who actually built them. In 1904, James Davis was working as a riveter, mending wagons for the Great Western Railway at the Neath locomotive shed. He lived with his wife. They had no children, at 71 Cypress Terrace, New Road, Skewen. On December the 16th, 1904, he was repairing a wagon, and for a reason that remains unknown, he left it to cross the tracks. Shunting was taking place at the time, and James walked right into the middle of it. He was crushed between the buffers. Once freed, he was taken to the office and a doctor was called, but James Davis was unconscious and he quickly died. The inquest recorded a verdict of accidental death and the Great Western Railway was deemed to have taken all necessary safety precautions, the blame for the death being placed on the victim. He was buried a very long way from home at the churchyard of St Michael, Flamviangelar Arth in Carmarthenshire. His body would have been brought by train to Bryn Tyvey Station, a couple of miles away. His headstone has the symbol of male and female clasped hands, symbolising meeting again, and says he met his death at the GWR Carriage and Locomotive Department, Neath, December the 16th, 1904, aged 47. His widow does not seem to be buried here, or at least she's not mentioned on the headstone. And why James Davis is lying about 50 miles from his home is a mystery. Perhaps his family came from this village. Thank you for watching and stay safe.